Now, whenever I get a message from a, from a spirit, I don't always know, in Shinto, the, the faith that I belong to, as any faith really should do this, when you get a message, a prophecy, a pro, you know, even if it's very audible, it's very clear, and it's a vision of something, uh, you still don't know if that miracle or that vision was actually from God, because the Pharaoh's sorcerers were able to turn uh, uh, staffs into serpents and do a lot of the miracles that Moses was. And a spirits can also change their appearance because when the Virgin Mary appeared to Juan Diego, she knew that the only way she was going to convert the Aztecs who were into human sacrifice and stuff, cutting out hearts, she had to appear as one of them with, with a design, leave a design, leave a picture that uh, is going to really speak especially to the Aztec people where she's dressed like one of them, where that is her ethnicity. And, and when she appears to the uh, Vietnamese or the Japanese, she appears as an Asian person dressed as they do. So, and she always looks like she's about 16 um, when she's actually thousands of years old. And when she died, she was an old woman, so she would probably have not been very attractive. And, and yet people are saying she's like breathtakingly beautiful, it's euphoric just to, to look at her and stuff. So and things are a lot different on the other side. And you never actually know. I mean, even the church, when the Virgin Mary appears and there's miracles, the church takes a while and tries to not tell people to, uh, to, to encourage something like that because you never actually know when a dead person is visiting you if that's the real deal. But in the Old Testament, the prophet Samuel did return and tell King Saul, you will be with me tomorrow, you will die. And King Saul committed suicide. He said, you will join me in the world of the dead. So, essentially what he was saying is it was probably a good idea for him to commit suicide, but also that he gets to go, not necessarily to heaven, but someplace that's not hell, because he's joining a holy prophet, Samuel. And I know that suicides don't go to hell, because uh, Meadow Pollock's uh, best good friend, Sidney, was a, was a suicide, but also, if you look at Samson, he actually prayed for God to help him commit suicide by pushing over the temple of Dagon in a suicide attack that killed over 3,000 people. And he specifically asked God, please let me die when this happens. Help me kill myself and kill all of them. So, so God was assisting him in committing suicide. And, and God, God could, uh, could do a lot of things. And people say, Almighty God is pro-life. Where are you getting your information for one, if you're glad that Donald Trump got elected, this was the message that I felt I had from Meadows. The only reason Hillary Clinton did not get elected is because so many of the people that would have been voting for Hillary Clinton were terminated by abortion, okay? Because those, a lot of those people were from the ghettos. They were not going to be raised right-wing conservative. And when you are raised by you know, a very dysfunctional household, and you're dealing with all kinds of abuse, you don't have the right kind of father figure or mother figure or both to affirm you in your masculinity or femininity or whatever. Uh, and, and they're not raising you to be uh, a right-wing conservative. I mean, especially if, they're, if they, she just aborted that child, she wouldn't be voting right-wing conservative. So... She, the, the Democratic Party, the, the only thing that's keeping the Democratic, uh, the, the only thing that's keeping the right wing Republican Party from even standing a chance at, at getting a president is, is probably Planned Parenthood and abortion. And how can you, how can you say, I mean, don't get me wrong, I do not like the dishonesty of Planned Parenthood. I don't like abortion, but I don't like the fact that God is forming a child in the womb when a woman does not want that child and it's going to petrify her, it's going to scare her, and then it's, she, it's just going to result in an in a, in a abortion that's going to traumatize her and it didn't do a damn good thing for the baby and all it did was give the abortion doctor mon a job. If God would stop doing that, then the abortion doctors wouldn't have a job anymore because he would only be giving children to those who are... Uh, wanting children at that time or can, for whatever reason. 
But the thing is, you know, God himself in the Bible is actually an abortion doctor, okay? Because, I mean, how many, he's killed more unborn babies than anybody. Like, the Planned Parenthood solution to the Sodom and Gomorrah question, fire and brimstone from heaven, exterminate everybody, and they cannot reproduce. You just sterilize them, and you eliminate any ability to have more children. And that happened many times. And then what about flooding the entire world? Uh, killing, well, way, way over 99% of people, babies, and uh, children. You're going to really say that that's a pro-life, uh, right-wing conservative god. Okay, whatever, dude. And don't get me wrong, man. I'm not saying that... Uh, I'm not saying I like this liberal stuff either. I really don't. Because I don't like secularism. I don't like... Communism, I, I, I just, but the thing is, I think we've got a major problem on our hands because we have to deal with something. The Bible itself, by declaring that book to be without error, and all of it's the inspired word of God, you are actually creating so much atheism in this world because some of the wisest and most wonderful, most powerful, influential things are said in that book, and that's very good. But there is an incredible amount of the worst kind of justification for for radical groups like uh, like ISIS. I mean, that those are radical Muslim groups that you know will gun down thirteen children at once in the streets because they were told not to watch soccer. I mean, shooting kids for watching soccer, killing people for, for making a cartoon, uh, global rioting all over the globe over a stupid cartoon and saying he, God is such a big baby and, and the prophet's such a big baby, can't handle a cartoon. I mean, th that stuff wouldn't be happening if it wasn't for the seeds that were planted that created that kind of stuff. Because back in, in the biblical times, they were living like radical Islamic extremist groups. I mean, you could get executed for picking up sticks on the Sabbath. Picking up sticks on the wrong day of the week. It's not even working on the wrong day of the week. That's not even a job. That's just gathering some firewood. And, and God tells Moses to have him taken out and stoned to death. Okay, that's freaking crazy. That is insane. And so people are reading that and they... It is very ugly. And, and, and like the book of Revelation says uh, that the whore of Babylon is going to be, uh, she's going to be stripped down. He actually sends down, sends an angel to go get a, a larger audience of people. It's so important to watch this. It's a, it's a pornographic snuff film, sadomasochism. She's, uh, she's stripped down naked and she dies humiliated and burned and tortured and flogged and mutilated. And then uh, cannibals come and eat her uh, her flesh, okay? Like 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 it's like Jeffrey Dahmer uh, snuff pornography of a naked woman, and so so basically acting like, and it says that God was actually the one who inspired it, and it's so important to have an audience to come watch this. He sends an angel to go gather a larger crowd. You know th that's ridiculous, and I have told him. You better let me take her place. You can watch me get killed and eaten because I have already uh, taken my vows to go to hell for all eternity. I don't want to spend uh, time in in that kingdom. So we need to find something else. I do not like secularism. I do not like atheism. And so many people are benefiting tremendously from uh, from the Bible. And I don't want to take that away from them. But it's causing persecution of Christians, it's persecution of, uh, it's causing communist regimes, okay? And also, speaking of the rainbow flag, the rainbow was the, uh, the banner that was flown in the sky by the regime right after it just successfully exterminated 100% of the homosexual people, 100% of the homosexual animals because only a male and female of each animal was allowed and only heterosexuals got on that boat. And so the regime, the Skywalker regime that was uh, Char Charlie Manson, pro-life family was flying that banner. That doesn't